Hey everyone, it's Sugar Skull Candy, and I'm back with another tutorial. Today we're going to be doing this uh, cute jack-o'-lanterns that are peeking out of your eyebrows. Couple things. I discovered that I love gel eyeliner. I've never used it before. I used it today to draw the pumpkin and my actual wing. And up until now, I've always used Physician's Formula Ultra Black. And I think I might have a new favorite eyeliner. This is um, by NYX. It's just their simple NYX gel liner. It's awesome. So, that and my lipstick today, I don't normally do like a, I guess a neutral lipstick like this, um, but it came in my Ipsy bag this month. It's called Huda Beauty. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but it's called Huda Beauty. And if you don't know what Ipsy is, it's a little makeup subscription you can sign up for and you get five samples of um, makeup each month for $10. And this actually is not a sample size. I would say this is a full size lipstick, which is awesome. I mean, this is the shade Flirt. And I thought it'd be perfect to match with orange because it's not too bold of a color. So that worked out perfectly. So if you like what you see, continue watching and I can show you exactly how to achieve this look. Let's get started. All right, guys, let's do this. So I'm starting off with my eyebrow pencil again. Once again, this is by e.l.f. and the shade is taupe. And I'm just gonna use a stippling motion to fill in my eyebrow. After that, we're immediately going to go in and start our pumpkin, and I'm using this um, gel eyeliner. It's by NYX. It's called Liner and Smudger, and it's the shade is Jet Black. And I'm going in with my um, angled eyeliner brush from my e.l.f. Um, brush set. It's a super thin brush that makes it easy to draw on the eyeliner. And I'm going to start on one end of the eyebrow and work my way out to the other end. And I'm just gonna make sort of like um, a heart shape, like the top of a heart over my eyebrow to create the top of the pumpkin to make it look like it's popping out of my eyebrow. And I like to go back in just to darken the line and make it um, solid. Next, I'm going in with my e.l.f. primer. This is the sheer shade, so when you rub it in, it just it looks like you have nothing on. I love this because it lets my eyeshadow, it makes my eyeshadow stay on for much longer rather than if I wouldn't use it. It's just a nice thick cream that you apply over your eyelid, but I'm actually going to be putting it inside the pumpkin so that my orange color stays all day and doesn't um, come off as my face produces oil. Your eyebrow might get a little messed up during this process, but don't worry, we're gonna go back in and fix it later. After I apply the uh, primer, I'm going in with a concealer brush and just um, working it into my skin. I smudged some eyeliner, so I'm just going back in and adding a little more primer. Next, I'm going in with this palette I got from Ulta. Again, this is by NYX, and this is the Ultimate Shadow Palette. It's got a bunch of bright colors that are perfect for doing eccentric makeup designs. And I'm using my crease brush again. This is my go-to brush whenever I'm doing one color, usually. It's the perfect shape. And this brush is called um, the eyeshadow C brush and I'm going in with this orange color right here and it was a little hard to see sorry about that and I'm just going to use that and fill in my pumpkin as the base color 
as you can see the primer makes the color pop much more which is what we're going for Next I'm going in with this, um, it's kind of like a glitter, it's more so a shimmery powder. This is also by NYX. If you don't know by now, I absolutely love NYX and I love e.l.f. <laughs> this is called NYX Pigments and it um, does not say the shade on here anywhere, I don't believe. Oh, it does. Shanghai Sun. Um, it's just, it's like a bronzy orange color, which I thought was perfect to put on the pumpkin to add a little shimmer because of course I love glitter. Um, so what I do is just pour a little bit into the cap and then I went back with my concealer brush and just dipped it in the cap and added it to the pumpkin. It adds a super cute shimmer. And I chose to use the concealer brush because it's flat and I was able to get into the corners easily. Next we're going to go back in with my um, gel liner by NYX and my eyeliner brush from the e.l.f. brush set. And we're going to draw the lines on the jack-o'-lantern. I start each line from the middle and curve them out to give it a 3D look. Oh, actually I'm doing my eyes first. I'm starting with the eyes. So we're going to do um, two triangles, just little triangles, um, under each hump of the pumpkin. Not drying a mouth or a nose because it's just supposed to look at the pumpkin it's popping out of the eyebrow. Now we're going to go and add the lines. I start from the middle and curve the lines out to give the pumpkin a 3D look. And I usually like to draw the line and then kind of go back over it to make it darker. And then I'm just going back over the outline of the pumpkin to make it a little darker and smoother. Next, I'm going in with my NYX colored felt tip liner um, to add the stem. And this is the color teal. I'm just going to add a little triangle to the top of the pumpkin to look like a stem. This isn't my favorite liner, but unfortunately it was the only one I could find in this color. I found a lot of bright greens, but I needed a darker green for the stem. So this will have to do for now.
it's just hard to use. Like it, when you start trying to color something in, it just removes the liner that was already on your skin and then it looks all scribbly. Next, we're gonna add some pizzazz to our eyebrows again. Um, this I used this in my last video. This is by NYX and it's brush on bling. And this the um, the color is Shmoney. And I'm gonna add more this time so you guys can actually see it. This is gold. It's called Shmoney, but it's like gold. Just to give it a little glitter. and reshape the eyebrow because we messed it up a little bit while doing the pumpkin. As you can see, it gives your eyebrow a super, a super cute metallic look. Next, we're going to do the actual eye makeup. Of course, you don't have to do this part. You could stop after the pumpkin, but I always like to put something on my eye just to give my face a complete look. So we're going back to the Ultimate Palette by NYX, and we're going to use this bright green color to fill in my eyelid. And before I do that, I'm going to add primer to my lid again. And I'm just going to rub that in with my finger. Now we're gonna um, fill in the eyelid with this green. I love this green, it's like, it reminds me of like Frankenstein. Maybe I'll have to do something Frankenstein um, themed in my one of my next videos. And I'm just using my C brush again to fill in my lid. And like I said before, I always fill my lid a little um, past my crease so that you can see it when my eyes are still open. When you don't go past your crease, it makes your eyes look small and you don't want that. And then I'm gonna go in with this darker green here and put that in my crease just to give my eyes a little dimension. Next, I'm bringing back my gel liner once again, and we're gonna create our wing. The gel liner is a little more tedious when it comes to using it as an actual eyeliner because your hand has to be super steady and you have to use a lot of liner, it seems. Um, but the result, the result is awesome. It's super dark, it's thick, It kind of looks like a mess at first, but like I said, it just takes time. It's a little tedious. And then I just do a little flick. And then I'm just gonna go back in and darken it. As I've said before, I always make sure to not put the wing in my crease because you don't want it to be folded when you open your eyes. And there we have our finished wing. Next, I'm just taking this little brush and adding a little bit of the dark green I used to my bottom waterline. Just to give my eyes a little more color.
And I'm gonna go in with my eyelash curler. This is this eyelash curler is um, from e.l.f. And I'm just gonna hold that for about 10 seconds. And there we go. The mascara I'm using today came in my Ipsy bag. It's by Thrive and it's nothing super special but I like it and I wanted um, to show you guys how it was. So um, the shade is Rich Black. I like the consistency of this mascara, however I don't feel that it makes my lashes any longer. And there we have it, our completed look. If you like what you saw today, please like, comment, and subscribe, and thanks for watching. Bye everybody!